Good morning, my fellow Barbadians, consumers and consumer organizations across the globe will partner with Consumers International today to commemorate World Consumer Rights Day. The relevance of this annual celebration is as pertinent now as it was some 36 years ago when the progressive momentum of the consumer movement led to United Nations in 1983, formally declaring March the 15th as World Consumer Rights Day. Two years later, the United Nations General Assembly went one step further and adopted eight basic rights of the consumer. The right to satisfaction of basic needs, the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to choose, the right to be heard, the right to redress, the right to consumer education, and last but not least, the right to a healthy environment. While these eight rights protect and empower consumers, it must be emphasized that consumers also have a responsibility to educate themselves about their rights, to shop around and to exercise vigilance when considering the purchase of goods and services. This year, the theme chosen for today's celebration is Trusted Smart Products which focuses on what consumers want and need for a connected world and the prominence consumers must play in the development of digital products and services. In a world driven by technology and digitization and where convenience, efficiency and real-time accessibility to people, goods and services are not only expected but demanded, this theme is particularly relevant. The rapid developments in technology over the past decade has given rise to a new smart economy driven by innovation, digitization, connectivity, and new business models. The disruption caused by this transformation has brought with it the dichotomy of many social and economic benefits, but also causes for concern. These opportunities and challenges have been articulated by consumer bodies at the international level and include issues such as thrust, privacy and security, safety, product life cycle, information and transparency, amongst others. Our ministry recognizes that the responsibility for ensuring that consumer rights are preserved and protected in this new paradigm requires partnership among consumers, businesses, consumer organizations, and governments. Consumer digital awareness, responsible business conduct, ardent consumer bodies, and an astute regulatory framework must be more than just catchphrases, but parts of a well-oiled consumer protection regime. Being cognizant of these prospects, the Ministry of Small Business Entrepreneurship and Commerce has embarked on a number of strategies to strengthen and buttress its legislative and policy frameworks thus ensuring that consumers as and business alike will continue to benefit from an even playing field. Through the robust pursuit of initiatives that take into consideration the promotion of consumer rights, the crafting of setting of relevant industry standards, the fortification of privacy and security, the enhancement of, re of requisite legal frameworks, and the adoption of relevant international best practices, the welfare of the consumer is sure to be realized. In coherence with the aforementioned legislative and policy initiatives, my ministry, along with the relevant stakeholders, have rolled out a number of public relations programs to capture the attention of the masses. Today, as we mark March 15, 2019, on our calendars, Barbadians from all walks of life are invited to join the ministry and its agencies at National Hero Square for the ministry's final public awareness program from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. God bless you and God bless Barbados as we promulgate equity and fair play for all consumers in the digital age. I thank you.